<laughs> I'm trying to tell you, I got I got that EV my, uh, list for y'all for the low, man. I get I just put y'all on game in my last couple videos. If you want or if you really want an EV, you know, as bad as they're down upon right now, the struggles of people that have been going through with them from being stranded with cold weather, range anxiety, repair cost anxiety. Um, Joe Biden still sleeping while the sun is out. No matter all the negativity that we've seen, you can still find one for a good deal. We've seen sedans below 25,000. They might come with a couple miles on her. She might have 40, 50, 60, 70, 80,000 miles. But under 25,000, it's a good deal, man. Private sale, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist. Hey man, you might find you might run upon a good deal. And you might the car might last you some years, 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 and you can even pass it down to your kids. <laughs> oh man, beautiful people around the world just here to make sure you have an okay life. I hope everyone is blessed, well, and healthy, and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life. We got another amazing email sent in. And hey, this is I can't believe what people are paying for the most discounted EVs in America. Let's check it out, you guys. And this is from the Electric Viking. Shout out to Electric Viking. I will leave the original link to this in the description box down below. You go check out the channel and let's see what's popping, man. Yes, indeed. Significantly all over the United States. Now, these are the 10 most discounted EVs in the US. I'm going to add the Tesla Model Y to this list because I got and y'all know I have this vehicle sitting outside right now. I've owned multiple Teslas and I, I I love my Tesla Model Y. My Model Y is sitting outside right now. It has depreciated like crazy. And just like all my other Teslas did, depreciate like crazy. Teslas depreciate, EVs depreciate 30%. So if you go buy a new one right now, you're looking at 20 to 30% depreciation just in a couple months, one year. 30%. 30%, you guys. Because it's 30%. Meaning, if you go buy a new EV right now, you're basically just getting bent over. And they're grabbing that Vaseline and that baby oil. And they're smacking you on the booty. Yeah. <laughs> it's also been discounted. The prices, though, that people are paying, this kind of gives you an idea. In fact, it tells you exactly the average price that people in the United States are paying for every model. It's not what I expected personally. I am a little bit surprised. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Now, this list got me to thinking, which of these vehicles here would I buy? Or more accurately, which would I definitely not buy? Now, the <laughs> seventh most All right. discounted electric car in the United States is the Chrysler Pacifica plug-in hybrid. I don't know why it's even in this list, but it is. Anyway, it's the only plug-in hybrid in this top 10, and it's the only car here that I would definitely not buy. Actually, no, there's two here that I would definitely not buy. I'll tell you the other one in just a minute. Anyway, <laughs> number one, the most discounted EV in America is the Hyundai Kona Electric. Now, unfortunately, we don't know if that's the new model or the old model. This could just be discounts for the old model, but the average transaction price for the Hyundai Kona is surprisingly high, in my opinion. In the US, it's 36,000 US dollars. Now, the Kona does not qualify for EV incentives. Now, hold on. Now, look. Shout out to Joel. Joel said, I just got a used Tesla Model 3 made in 2020 for 37, 30, 35 Canadian, 35,000 Canadian. So, about $27,000, $27,000, 27,000 US dollars. North American dealership prices for new EVs are ridiculously high. Now, in my opinion, that's a good deal for a Model 3 Tesla, 27,000. Like I said, I've, I've even showed you some under 25. We've seen 21, 22, 23. You know, if you could find a Tesla Model 3 for that kind of price, man, it is worth it in my opinion. Me being a Tesla Model 3 owner, I'm telling y'all, man, all I can do is speak highly upon uh, those vehicles, man. Very amazing vehicles. I would not go spend thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000. Even though I have spent $50,000 on a depreciating asset, which I've learned from my mistakes, man. I've learned from my mistakes, and we're not making those mistakes anymore. It qualifies for um, leasing incentives. 
I mean, most people don't buy on a lease, so I think it's fair to say that price seems kind of high when you think that you can get, um, say, for example, a Tesla Model Y for what's it, forty-two thousand, so around about thirty-five thousand, a bit cheaper than this, a bit cheaper than the Kona. I mean, Kona is a decent car, but I think the Hyundai Five is a much better car and something that you know is comparable to a Model Y, for example. So I'm surprised to see that people are buying them at these prices. I would have thought that um, you know, you'd want a bit more discount than that, but that's a 4.6% discount. The second highest discounted EV is the Volkswagen ID4. Now the price for this surprised me as well, because clearly a lot of people are not buying the base model ID4. The base model ID4 is a lot cheaper than this. The base model is about $42,000. But clearly people walk into a dealership and maybe they're like, oh, I want the $42,000 version. Then the dealer comes and says, yeah, but we don't have that. You've got to buy option pack X, Y, Z. And let's be fair, um, most European cars, they do really require you to pay for option packs. That's something people don't consider when they read reviews. You walk into a dealership, it's pretty common for them not to have any of the base model versions. And you can see that's the case with Volkswagen. ID4 average transaction price is quite high, 49,000. Mm. I mean, just under 49,000 US dollars. The average discount is 3.6%. So I like the, the ID4. I think it's a pretty decent car. Would I buy one? Probably not. No, certainly no, no, not no, 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 no. 48,800. So for, certainly not for 49,000 US dollars. I think there's better options than that. Way better options. Including one of the cars that's about to come up in this list. The Kia EV6. I would definitely prefer oh, the Kia EV6 over the Volkswagen ID4. I think the EV6 is better in a number of ways. However, Kia have reduced the price by the, of the EV6 on average by 2.5%. So the average transaction price for the EV6 is relatively high though at $52,000. Now apparently the Ford F-150 um, it says hybrid here, but I don't believe that's actually correct. I think that's actually a mistake here in this list, but it's actually the Ford F-150 Lightning. It's a Lightning. I'm going to say, no, no, Ford F-150 hybrid, Lightning. Average transaction price is 82000 for an average discount of 3.3%. Now, I'm not... You're going to get bent over if you go get that, y'all. Don't get bent over now. I'm trying to... We're trying to help you out now. We're trying to help you out. Don't go get bent over now. I'm convinced that's true either because, I mean, almost every Ford F-150 model lightning model is cheaper than eighty two thousand dollars i mean you know the majority of the models are, are go cheap. get this truck in about three to four years <laughs> you're gonna find a good deal in three to four years go get one in three to four years y'all you'll find your good old four lightning in three to four years man Cheaper than that so i'm not really sure if these numbers are correct but anyway the average discount is 3.3 percent but if you look at the discounts Ford have been offering out lately, the, the discounts from Ford have been pretty big. So the discounts from Ford have actually been closer to 20%. Anyhow, the Hyundai Ionic 6, average transaction price, discount of 2.4%, average transaction price of 47,700. The Nissan Maxima, uh, minus 2.2%, average transaction price of 42,000. I'm not sure why that's in this list either. Now here's an EV that I think is massively overpriced and I'm shocked that people are paying these prices for them. Absolutely shocked. Nissan Ariya. Now this is a vehicle that's only slightly bigger than say a BYD 803. And in the United States, people are paying an average transaction price of 51,000. Mm. That's a discount of only 1.9%, $50,750. Who is doing that? I mean, that seems crazy. Is it just me? That is $51,000 for the Nissan Ariya. I mean, Holy smokes, that's a lot of money. Uh, anyway, next. Now, here's a car I can understand people paying this price for. The Hyundai Ionic 5. A the discount Ionic average 5. of 2%, 50500 So the average transaction price for a Nissan Ariya is higher than the average transaction price for the much superior Hyundai Ionic 5. That, to me, is just absolutely shocking. But anyway... That number 10 was the Volkswagen Arteon or Arteon or whatever it's called with an average discount of 1.8% or, you know, average transaction of 47,800. So yeah, out of this list, there's only a couple of vehicles that I would consider. Now I do like the F-150 Lightning. And Y'all know I like that Lightning too, man. I want, I, I've wanted one actually, but the pricing, all the backlash is getting right now. I'm just going to be patient. Stay patient in the market, man. Just stay patient. And that's why I tell you guys, you have to stay patient. 
You know, a lot of us, we did rush into things and I myself rushed into things and put myself in a boatload of debt and a lot of, you know, a very depreciation, um, neck, 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 negative equity situation I put myself in and I've learned from my mistakes again. This is one reason why I love making these videos because I want to spread awareness, man. I have, I've made some crazy decisions, um, you know. For the good and for the bad, you know, it worked out for me somewhat because of how I use my vehicles, how I make content on them and, you know, how I, you know, use them again for my work. But again, do not go buy these these cars brand new unless you're just a big baller, unless you have the money, unless you can't afford it and unless you really, really want it and you did your research. If you don't none of those, do not go get bent over, man. Especially right now in the crisis that we have right now, it's pretty crazy. And yeah, I would consider it, I have to admit, the Kona Electric, would I consider it at that price? No, but I do think the Kona Electric, the new version is pretty good. Um, the Chrysler Pacifica is just, honestly, I think it's trash. Uh, the Nissan Aria at that price is outrageous. I can't believe people are paying that. The Hyundai Ionic 5, I would definitely consider that. But this does lead me to my kind of, my thoughts here, which is this. The average transaction price for the Tesla Model Y, considering the price now for the base model is 42,000, the long range model is around $47,000. Uh, the performance model, which very few people buy, is around 52,000. The transaction, the average transaction price must be closer to around 45,000. 45, yeah. Which is actually less than all of these vehicles, except for the Kona Electric. It kind of gives you an idea, an insight into why Tesla is selling so many cars in the United States. Well, guess what? They're selling more even in the private used market. You can find these vehicles for under 25 grand. Especially if you go with a Model 3, man. A small Model 3 sedan, you can find under 20. Five. Like again, we seen some people in the comments talking about they got theirs for twenty seven, you know. But we seen these bad boys under twenty five, man. You know what I'm saying? Even with the, with Hertz, the ones that Hertz put out in the market too, as well, under twenty five, man. And again, twenty seven, twenty eight is still a good deal. Under thirty thousand is still a good deal. But I think the lowest model while we seen uh, last week was twenty seven thousand. It was twenty seven point eight, so almost twenty eight thousand for a wheel wheel drive model y which in my opinion opinion that's a steal but again man it's because these cars don't hold their value as we thought they would hold their value a lot of us had got hit with a lot of misinformation hey but hey man shout out to all my ev owners out there the people that are running away from evs as well to our combustion owners, people that have literally kicked their EVs to the curve and went back to that good old combustion hybrid vehicle. Shout out to you. We got love for you. Our combustion engine will be around for more decades to come. And hey, we'll have to see how this thing plays out, man. Again, we still got more things to learn from. The president still sleep and hopefully things will change. I love y'all and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.